Okay, bad news. You got taken. No time to explain. Let's just get out of here. So you find yourself in a dark cell with a dirt floor and a small window at twice your height. There's no food or water, but there's a shovel. Why did they leave the shovel? Don't ask me, I don't know. Just be happy you have it. (laughs) However, you can't dig your way out because the walls go a long way underground. So how do you get out? You can still dig and make a high dirt pile that will make you reach the window and get out of there. So you do just that and find yourself in a dark corridor. You have nothing to do but to go straight, hoping that sooner or later you'll find the exit and get out of this creepy place. Half an hour later, you approach a metal door. You have to enter the passcode, but here's a hint. Berlin, 600. Paris, 400. London, 600. Rome, 200. Toronto, hmm, what's the passcode? Each consonant in the word gives 200 points, while each vowel takes away 100 points. In the word Toronto, there are four consonants that give 800 together. Three vowels take away 300 points. So the passcode is 500. The door clicks and you leave another obstacle behind. Soon, you approach three more doors. Behind the first one, there's an iron block with a movement sensor that will crush everyone who enters. Behind the second door, there's an electric shocker that never misses. Behind the third door, there's broken glass all over the floor. Which way do you choose? You pick the third door, obviously. You're wearing some boots, right? So walking on the glass is definitely not going to be too hard of a task. You follow the tunnel till you reach the next room. As you step in there, a metal cage falls down from the ceiling and traps you inside. However, there are three buttons there. The red button will open the cage, but it'll also open a door with a hungry lion. The blue button will fill the cage with water for 10 minutes, and only then will it open the door. However, keep in mind that people can only live 7 minutes without oxygen. The green button will set the room on fire, but will open the cage door in 5 minutes. Which one do you choose? You should choose the blue button. The water won't be able to fill the cage because it will just splash outside. You'll only have to wait 10 minutes until the door opens, and you'll be able to get out safely. You turn right and immediately bump into a huge guard. Your heart skips a beat and you get paralyzed with fear. To your surprise, the guard looks down at you and asks, Want to pass? Speechless, you just nod. Okay. You see, no one here wants to play riddles with me. If you solve one of my riddles, I'll let you go and won't tell anyone I've seen you. Deal? You nod again, and here comes your riddle. What is that invention that lets you see right through walls? That's a window, of course. The guard smiles and says, Beware of the vampires. Then he moves aside, letting you go. Wow, that was close. And vampires? This gives you chills. But you have to keep moving and get out. And again, another door that requires a passcode. Can you crack it? There's a hint again. You should continue the sequence. O-T-T-F-F-S-S-E-N-T. Each of these letters is the first letter of the numbers. O for 1, T for 2, T for 3, then 4, 5, and so on. The last stands for 10, so the next four are E, T, T, F. 11, 12, 13, and 14. Yep, that's correct. The door clicks open. Move! You get into a huge dark room. All the light comes from the candles the room is filled with. 
The problem is that there are four ways, and again, you don't know which one to take. Suddenly, each of the doors opens and four people walk into the room. There are two men, one woman, and one teenage girl. They all say they're prisoners, too, and the other three are vampires. Who do you trust? You should trust the second man. He's the only one who casts a shadow from the light of the candles. The other three don't, so they must be vampires. So you rush to the man and you shut the door behind yourself. It'll probably slow them down for a while. As you're running, the man tells you he's been here for at least three days. The next obstacle is something he couldn't solve by himself, so he couldn't get out. There's just one try, and if you fail, the exit gets blocked for 24 hours. Finally, you come across another door with a robot guarding it. To let you go, the robot needs you to say the password. The tricky thing is that the password is different each time. The man said that as he was hiding in the room, he saw the vampires passing it twice. The first time, the robot said 12, and the vampire said 6. The other time, the robot said 6, and the vampire said 3. When the man approached the robot the last time, the robot said 8. The man replied 4, but the robot didn't let him in. The door got blocked, so it wasn't the right answer. You nod and approach the robot. The robot says 4. What is your answer? The answer is 4. The rule isn't dividing the number by 2 but saying the number of letters in the word. Your answer is accepted. The robot opens the door and lets you go. Again, another dark room. But as you step into it, you get surrounded by eight hungry dogs. In the middle, there's a meat cake standing so high on the table that the dogs can't reach it. To calm them down and make them your friends before they make you their dinner, you have to feed them the cake. But here's a tricky thing. The knife is magical and can only make three cuts. After three cuts, it disappears. Your task is to divide the cake into eight equal pieces with these three cuts. How can you manage that? With one cut, you cut the cake in half and get two pieces. Then you make another perpendicular cut and get four pieces. With your last move, you have to cut the cake in the middle horizontally, splitting each of the four pieces into two at once. Eh, great job! Now, give each of the dogs a piece of cake and get out of there immediately. You rush to the door and lock it behind yourselves. You're in a tunnel again, and this time there's no light at all. You move in complete darkness, putting your hand to the wall so that you know where to go. You walk like that for at least half an hour when, finally, you see some light. You run towards it and come across another massive door that requires a passcode. Luckily, there's a hint again, but there will be two questions appearing one by one. To get the passcode, you have to solve both of them and put the answers together. Ready? How many months have 28 days? All 12 of them, obviously. Okay, next one. Here's the sequence of letters. S, M, H, D, W. What are the other two letters? S stands for seconds, M for minutes, H for hours, D is for days, W is for weeks. So the next letters are M for months and Y for years. And the full passcode is 12MW. The door clicks and you're outside. Finally! There's actual air and sun. But before you start thinking about what happened and what to do next, a police officer comes up to you. With him, there are two ladies wearing paper bags over their heads. Sir, are you Mr. Jones? The police officer asks. You reply, that's you exactly. However, the police officer looks suspicious. 
Well, we can't know for sure that you're not one of these criminals pretending to be someone else, so we have to test you. One of these ladies is your bride. Tell us which one it is. And now, you finally remember what happened. It was your wedding morning. You were about to get married, and then you found yourself in that dungeon. Well, the problem is that you haven't seen your wife-to-be wedding dress yet, so you can't even tell which one is the right one. Is there any other way to tell? Think carefully. With their faces covered, these girls are absolutely identical. You didn't need much time. You notice that one of the girls is wearing a wedding ring already. However, you and your bride aren't married yet, so she's not supposed to have one. And the one who doesn't have it is yours. Congratulations! The girl removes the bag, and you see that it's really her. Right behind you, the door opens, and the vampires walk out. You're about to start screaming, but they take off their wigs, and they turn out to be your friends. So, was it all a prank? Well, yeah, it was. But don't be mad. You had fun, right? Well, most of the time.